Hello and welcome to another update video about ARB. ARB has dipped below the trend line. Yeah, I think we saw that coming already yesterday that it potentially, uh, it, the price is already potentially in this fourth wave pullback. I think we see this wave four pullback now a little bit more clearly actually. Um, it's become quite evident that this is not anymore part of this emerging third wave to the upside. Okay, so obviously it could also have topped in an ABC structure, talked about that in the last video. The market could have topped simply in a three wave pattern, which would lead to a lot of uncertainty, you could say, okay. Um, however, um, at the moment, as long as the $1.36 support is holding, my interpretation is that this could turn into a diagonal pattern. So again, you cannot, you can never trust diagonals because they can also be A, B, C structures, but therefore we track support and below $1.36, I have to assume it topped in an ABC structure, would then likely either completely create completely new lows, or it's gonna form a larger ABC, or it's gonna form a triangle. So see, that's what we wanna avoid. It would make it really unclear if we have an ABC top. Therefore, the most straightforward way would be if this is a wave one, a wave two, a wave three. Now the wave four pullback, and that should unfold in an A, B, C structure. And as long as the relevant support levels are holding, a fifth wave is still basically to be expected. What are the support levels? Well, see, the $1.95 level was already broken. That's a shame because that's typically an ideal target for an A wave. Um, so I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Um, then with $1.70, $1.69, $1.70 is the next Fibonacci support. Then $1.51 and $1.36. It would look best with a more substantial ABC structure. If it keeps going and reaches $1.69 or $1.51, it might be that this here is all of wave 4. Okay, um, but it would look better with... Um, it would look better with um, a clearer ABC structure. Now, the problem I have here on this chart now is that this last move down is very long. So let's just double check something. Yep, it's reached a one to one ratio now. It would look better not as five wave move. This is just turned into a three wave move, basically ABC in wave A, then a B wave and a C wave. The reason is the third or the last wave there, A, B, C, what I have now labeled as C wave, basically reached the 100% extension of the smaller A wave. Therefore, this is turned just into a three wave move, which means that any B wave could be quite aggressive. So it's gonna be interesting. Um, at least this is not a five wave move anymore, at least not at the moment, not how it looks at the moment. If it keeps extending and forms a larger five wave pattern like this, then we have five waves, okay? But at the moment, it's giving us three waves. And ideally, ideally this um, C wave of A finishes somewhere in this region, ideally before breaking below $1.69. And then this B wave would start. There is not really a clear, let's say, target area for a B wave. But if a B wave started from here, which I have no evidence at all at this stage, um, a healthy B wave would take it sort of into the region around $2.11, $2.18, maybe $2.29. Yeah, this would be a healthy B wave, but um, I don't really want to add a, a resistance area onto the chart until we have a confirmed low in place for wave A. Yeah, that's what we're dealing with at the moment. I think support levels are clear. Um, the B wave resistance I mentioned as well, and it would look best with a clear ABC structure. Yeah. What would be targets for the fifth wave if a fifth wave happens? So obviously all we can do at the moment is to take the length of wave one, then we go to the low of the wave two, and because the wave three nearly reached the 200% extension level, it seems likely that the fifth wave reaches either the 2.382 or 2.618. So between $3.09 and $3.47. But the condition is, the condition is that the um, orange box is providing support. 
and also we can specify the target a little further once the fourth wave has really bottomed for which again we haven't got evidence at this stage yeah that's my update about arbitrum hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership also make sure that you follow us on instagram and twitter for additional content thanks a lot for watching bye bye